Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, welcome back And today I'm going to talk about the theory of agree and disagree The Arabic speaking class, check it out So, agree means we have the same opinion about something And we consent to do something that has been suggested by another person So when someone said a statement and you agree with the statement you can say, yes, you're totally right. Yes, that's definitely correct. Yes, that's right. Or yes, that's true. Or I agree with you. Or that's correct, I agree with you. Or there is also an idiom saying like, yes, I am in your shoes. So when you agree with someone's opinion or idea, you can say one of these following statements. The way people agree or disagree in an argument or discussion varies in different languages. So it is worthwhile saying that silence is not understood as agreement. Remember that silence is not understood as agreement. When you are silent, doesn't mean you are agree. Doesn't mean you agree. And when you are silent, it's not always an indication that you agree. Now, like in our culture, in the Indonesian culture, silent means yes. But in English, silent can mean a very different meaning. So if you agree with an opinion or in an idea, you are expected to say something. And there are expressions used to agree like there's no doubt about it. I completely or I absolutely agree with you. I agree with you entirely. I totally agree with you. I simply must agree with that. I'm of the same opinion. I'm of the same of idea. That's exactly what I think. Partial agreement. You can also agree, but with reservation, especially when there is a doubt or feeling of not being able to accept something completely because of some reasons like when you agree in the side of you but then there is another side that makes you disagree with so i'm going to talk about the theory of partial agreement there are some expressions to partially disagree you can say like it is only partly true that blah 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 that's true, but I can agree with that only with reservations. That seems obvious, but that is not necessarily so. It is not as simple as it seems. I agree with you in principle, but I don't think so. I agree with you in part, but... Expressing disagreement is always respected as honest and something as courageous. In the Indonesian culture, I can say that people tend to have more a sensitive feeling if they disagree with something. But in English, if you disagree with something, you can just go directly say your statement. Super direct. That's super direct. So please be direct. There are some expressions used to disagree. I don't agree with you. I'm sorry, but I disagree. I'm afraid I can't agree with you. The problem is that blah, blah, blah. This is in a complete contradiction too. Or you can also mention like, I'm not in your shoes as an idiom. Or I don't think so. I disagree with you. Something like that. So here is a like to provide some discussion points to be remembered. Mm. You can choose see the one of the topics like most horror films nowadays are disgusting rather than scary or films over two and a half hours long are always slow and boring. What do you think? Do you agree with this or do you disagree with this? Give me a reason. Why do you agree or disagree? Most of what the media produces nowadays is unbelievable because journalists making up stories or something. They only show bad news on TV and never got one. Do you agree with this? 
Do you agree that there's too much unacceptable clothes and violence on TV early in the evening when young children are still watching? And do you agree if the TV is better than it used to be? And do you agree that watching cartoons or animated movies is a sign of childish adult? This discussing point should be pointed out. Like you can use the term or the statement or the expressions of agree or disagree. So it's important for you to identify any vocabulary is related to either one after you choose the topics and then give any commands to every topics from different groups or different students. You can ask a question as well. There will be an open discussion for sure. And the last you can just make a short conclusion about your topic like the summarization or the conclusion. So I think that's all for today's theory. Thank you for listening. I hope everyone have a good day. Bye-bye.